Hey everyone, it's Harley Marano with Sound Guys, and I'm here at CES 2024. Just came out of the Harman Explorer event where they were showing off some cool products being released by JBL this year. Now, starting with some microphone tech, they've got the JBL Quantum Stream Wireless for $100, and it's their wearable clip on microphone. So, think something along the lines of the DJI mic or the Rode Wireless Go. Easy to clip on, should be able to connect with your phone either via Lightning or USB C. So, really great for people who do a lot of live streams on their phone to broadcasters, streamers and whatnot, and at a pretty affordable price tag, much cheaper than what you'd get with Rode or DJI. But if you're someone who's more of a desktop streamer, you do a lot of uh, broadcasting there, a lot of game streams, then they've got the flagship JBL Quantum Stream Studio for $150. Some of the highlight features there are uh, 192 kilohertz, 24-bit broadcast sampling rate. You've got four pickup patterns. You've got three condenser microphones built in and it's got some really nice RGB lighting, so it's very easy to see whether or not you are muted. And it also has a VU meter, RGB VU meter integrated into the volume control knob. So that's really handy. And again, really great for people who do a lot of streaming, but don't want to break the bank on a microphone. Now, in the realm of headphones and earbuds, JBL was not short of announcements for this category because they had a lot of iterative updates to their live and tuned series headphones, which go from $50 to $200. Some of the highlight updates with these headphones across the product lines are that they now include Bluetooth 5.3 with LE audio, so better range performance, better connectivity performance, and some future proofing uh, technology over there that comes with Bluetooth 5.3. Also, all the headphones get a nice bump in battery life so with the new headphones you're expecting anywhere between 50 to 70 hours of battery life on a single charge so these are going to be those cans you know one of those where you're probably going to don't really need to charge them until the next month depending on how much you use your cans now in terms of earbuds they've also released their interpretation of an open ear earbud called the JBL Sound Gear Sense so it's kind of similar to something like the Shox Open Fit where it's open ear there's no actual seal but the drivers sit kind of on top of your ear. Still in line with the earbuds, uh, JBL is also releasing the third generation of its live True Wireless Earbud series. And in that series, there are three different types of earbuds, the Beam, the Flex, and the Buds, which feature different designs tailored to different ear shapes. Now, some of the other highlight features of the entire live True Wireless Earbud series, is the fact that it has Bluetooth 5.3, Snapdragon Sound, and the charging case of each earbud also comes with the touchscreen control which were first seen on the JBL Tour 2. And with that touchscreen interface on the charging case, you can control a lot of aspects of the earbuds that you'd normally use the app for. So with the touchscreen, you control EQ presets. You can even trigger Find My Buds. You can answer calls and just access a wide gamut of customization options without having to take your phone. Now, I did mention that the Live True Wireless Earbud series comes in three different models. And you're probably wondering, with three different models, how do I know which one is right for my ears? Well, later this year, JBL is hoping to make finding the answer to that much easier by including a new feature coming to the app which will use your phone's camera to scan your ears and then rank from best to worst which earbuds will suit your ears kind of moving up in size we're going into the latest speakers coming from JBL this year at CES JBL is announcing its latest iteration of the go clip and extreme speakers what's important about the new clip and go speakers is the fact that they now have app support via the JBL app whereas previous iterations of the clip and go did not you couldn't customize them but now you'll be able to access settings like eq features from updates and more and on top of that a really important update for all the speakers i just mentioned including the extreme is the fact that they will come with bluetooth 5.3 with aura cast meaning that you can pair a JBL clip to a JBL Extreme and get even more room filling sound that way. Other features worth mentioning in the speaker line is that the, the new JBL clip has a bigger carabiner. They all have IP67 waterproof and dust resistance rating. Oh, and it's also worth noting that the Extreme speaker can also be used as a power bank. And all the batteries in the speakers I just mentioned are replaceable. So if you look underneath the Extreme speaker, you'll actually see that it just takes a Torx screwdriver to remove the battery, which you can replace from home. And as for the Clip and Go series, you can just send your speaker 
into a JBL repair shop and they will be able to replace the battery for you. And of course, if none of those are enough for you, JBL wants to help you bring the party at home with its latest line of party speakers. Now these speakers are massive. They come with this nice RGB lighting that can sync to the music. And like with its little cousins, the new party speakers also feature AuraCast, so you can pair a bunch of these speakers to get a bunch of these party speakers together or you could pair a party speaker to something as small as the JBL Go or Clip. And similar to the Extreme speaker, the party speakers will also feature replaceable batteries, although the plus side to the ones on the party speakers is the fact that you won't need any tools to remove or replace the battery. And one really fun thing too that JBL is releasing alongside these new party speakers is a pair of wireless microphones. Very easy to pair with the party speakers. They have a range of 30 meters, I believe, and for my American friends, 30 meters. Also, the microphones can charge via USB-C on the bottom of the mics and you can even use the mic while it's charging to really make sure that the party don't stop. If you'd like to know more about any of these products, we've got some detailed news posts on soundguys.com which you can check down below. But until next time guys, I'm Holly around with Soundguys. Make sure to like and subscribe and tune into our full coverage of CS 2024. And until next time, happy listening.